Good morning, guys, and welcome back to Bearham Engines. So, the small turbo Escort Cosworth engine that's sitting at the back of the workshop, all been paid for. Um, the chap, Chris, is coming to pick it up about midday today. Um, so, yeah, that one is all done. We've got the oil pressure up. Check that again today. I've uh, got the front cover on, a few bits and bobs, but that is looking a lot more fresh now. Hopefully the customer will be really pleased with that. I think they're um, still in the process of restoring the car, so um, it's going to be a, maybe a while till it's in and running. But, yeah, really happy with that. Uh, next on the agenda is this Cosworth. Uh, the customer did ring after my last video when I said I didn't really know um, what it was and what we had to do with it. He jogged my memory. So this is the one that's got a suspected, I think he's had the head off, it's got a suspected crack block because he said it just oses water out um, into the exhaust, I think. So we've got to take this to bits, um, check out, you know, see what the problem is. Maybe we have to stick a set of liners in there. He's also supplied us an, another 205 short engine there, which he said has run short of oil at some point. So how bad that is, I do not know, but I think first point of call, we'll get this one, get this one in bits and um, see what we've, see what we can find there. The other Cosworth, this one is all pretty much done now. Um, we've, so the crank is under here. That is all balanced, polished and, and what have you. See the exhaust manifold there all in the, in the heat proof black. The cylinder head here, I've just popped the rocker on to, to cover it up. But as you can see, we've got the BD14, BD10 cams in there, all set up. Um, just waiting for some more exhaust studs, which are on their way. We've sort of ran out. See the inlet there is all looking fresh. So the head is all pretty much done, to be honest with you. The only thing we are waiting for to get the bottom end together is the main bearings. Um, so thankfully, Paul at PJ Motorsport has got us out of the poop with that. At 0.25s, we're struggling on the... Um, on the King race bearings at 0.25 at the minute, but they, they seem to keep a nice little stock. So he's helped us out, bless him. We have still got the Land Rover blocks. I think the chap's sort of running out of patience with that, which is completely fair enough. Um, this block here, but we can hone that one to the one of the size pistons he's got. So we're just gonna hone that and, and that's that block done there. But this one here, where that piston is sitting, is definitely gonna need a liner. Um, so I'm gonna have to have a chat with him about that. At the moment, um, as I say, we've we've managed to get rid of two or three jobs and a couple of jobs that we just weren't going to get to, to be honest. You know, sort of one-off um, R&D work. We've we, yeah, we got rid of some stuff, which, yeah, been stressing me out just sitting there. But realistically, I'm just not going to get just not going to get to it. Um, so, yeah, had a good old sort out. So apart from the Land Rovers, we've pretty much got everything on the go at the minute. Um, I spoke to the guy about the S13. He's going to get a clutch and flywheel to me for that, and also a set of hydraulic lifters, and then that can be put back together. So this flywheel is from the block that we had in uh, beginning of the week with the that needs line boring. Uh, now the story goes, our line borings kit, um, the tool, one of the locating tools, was broke. So, unfortunately, we've had to pack the block up and send it up to CTM Performance. Our friend Charlie up there, he's going to sort the block out for us. Um, it's got to be 10 long studs and the oil jet's machined into the block anyway. But once I get that back... But until then, as I say, he supplied a new crank and the flywheel, although the flywheel's been faced in the past, it has got a couple of hot spots on it um, because this engine supposedly seized. So we're just facing out those hot spots, and then we can. I'm going to put that new crank up and check the balance on it and balance this flywheel onto the new crank. So if you can just see there, there is one little hot spot still left in the flywheel. Now there's a bit of a thing with these with these flywheels. Um, some people say. They've got to be ground um, you shouldn't turn them our theory has always been the problem when you grind them is yeah you get a great finish with one cut really 
um, but you're not necessarily grinding out the hot spots and it's the hot spots that usually cause the problem um, so our theory is on turning them you can get underneath the hot spots get them all out and and then you know you haven't got any so that is our our theory i, I don't know whether any of you guys would sort of comment differently but um yeah let us know on that all right guys this is the crank for uh the block that needs line boring um it's a brand new crankshaft it looks a really nice crankshaft as i've just had to face the flywheel we're gonna put this up and check the balance of it if it's out at all which i very much doubt it is but then again we all know what some of the the new flywheels and new clutches and that are like they're all supposed to be balanced but no they're always miles out so just going to check this if it's out we'll we'll just pop it into balance then we're going to put that flywheel on the end and balance that up really um i think i don't think he's got a, a clutch yet so obviously we can't balance the front cover but um yeah we can just do this for him and obviously check the front pulley on there so we've just spun this new crankshaft up and um, as you can see on the right hand side at 140, 140 degrees we're about 50 out on the amount which is quite a bit to be honest with you so like I said before um, you can't really take anything for granted being new um, so we're going to have to true this up and takes them off one of the webs but yeah surprising really you, you'd think it'd be the brand new crank it'd be a bit balanced but not necessarily so we balanced the crank end for end um, this end as you can see are quite a lot off in that area um, and on the other side you see there quite a bit took off there so it does look like it's been balanced because obviously it's got the the drill marks in the webs but to be honest I'm quite surprised it was out as far as it was this crank um, yeah a bit strange really so but anyway it's it's balanced now um, just stuck the flywheel on the end so let's see how bad this is lo and behold the main bearings have just turned up for the Cosworth so thanks once again Paul got me out of the poop and we can crack on with this now so I'm going to reveal the Cosworth we're going to get these bearings in um, the crank's all been cleaned as I say it's all been balanced so get that crank in and get this bottom end pretty much put together um, just going to once I've done that got it talked so I'm just going to check the obviously the piston jut out I know I took 10 thou off the pistons and that really in theory should be okay but um, if not might have to take a bit more off um, but yeah once I've checked that we can get the head bolted on and start bolting it all back together right so I had an email um, the weekend actually, it was the bank holiday weekend. Um, I don't know whether any of you can remember me doing a video quite a long time ago actually about um, a chat we did an engine for, for a transit. Um, the one with the, the one that took the bolt out of the flywheel and all the oil was coming out and he said he'd got a severe oil leak. Um, yeah, so he's been in touch. He's had the engine back since October, reckons he's done 3,000 miles, had quite a, an abrupt email saying um, he's done 3,000 miles and now he's got um, knocking and a hell of a lot of white smoke. So under our terms and conditions, um, we're gonna be sorting the engine out. Okay, fine, it was a, a recondition. And so in theory, there's a year's warranty or 10,000 miles, that's absolutely fine. But I did send him an email back. I said, I wanna see a receipt for the the new injectors that we recommended he put in, which he did send me. So in fairness, he's, it looks like he's bought new injectors. The only other thing I did email back and say, that's great, but I would quite like to see some evidence of the entire fuel system being cleaned out. Um, now this isn't a, a sort of trying to a get out clause um, of the warranty, but I did state, and I said this to him very originally, that some of these transits and sprinters and what have you, they can have either moisture or crap in the tank, um, which then works its way forward into the lines, into the injectors, buggers up an injector, which in turn knackers the engine. So really I could sort of do with seeing some evidence of that. But although I did say, you know, we want the engine back um, in the state that you picked it up, and we will persist in stripping it and checking it, but I am sort of 
by there being a load of white smoke, I'm suspecting that it's buggered an injector again. So even if he's had a new set of injectors, obviously we're gonna get them tested. Um, but I am suspecting that there is some sort of crap or, or foreign body worked its way up to the injectors. I don't know, something like that. And um, it's buggered the injector, but we'll soon see because when we get it apart, you're gonna see um, signs on the piston. It's either melted a piston or, or broke a piston or something like that. But you're gonna see signs of the, of the spray pattern. And also when we test the injectors, you're gonna see what condition they're in. So uh, we will soon see, as I say, if it's none of that and it is a failure of a part or, or something that we've done, yeah, no problem at all, we'll sort it out. But just from the symptoms that he's saying, um, I'm suspecting that's probably what's happened. So I'm yet to hear back from him, but I will keep you guys um, informed on what happens there with that one. But yeah, we are tending to say now with engines that we've done and the, the, with the warranties that are on, and mainly it's from sort of recommendations from you guys in the comments, really. Um, we are sort of being a bit more strict, I'd say. Not, as I say, not trying to get out of things, but just stick to the rules, stick to what we've advised you, and we will stick to our side of the warranty. It's absolutely fine. But otherwise, we just end up, people just you know, want us to run their vehicles from, and, and, and we're not gonna do that. So we're tending to sort of act now as some of the big reconditioners act on stuff. And you know, you've gotta to stick to your side of the bargain and same as we have, really. So I've got the flywheel on, uh, just spun that up. And if you have a look at the gauge there, he's about 15 out on the amount of about 320 degrees. So not too much at all really, so probably one or two little holes and that will be sorted. There we can see we've literally drilled three holes there in the flywheel and that's all balanced. So I think this customer is going to pick this up on first thing Monday morning because he's going back to Jersey. Um, and then we're going to get the block to him once we've done all the machining on it line board etc so um so yeah surprising really how far that crank is out but then again like i said to you before never make any assumptions make sure you check everything so there we go guys another week here i can go and enjoy my weekend now knowing that we've managed to get quite a few things sorted out in here most of the jobs we've got in here now are, are all work in progress we, we haven't left anything really sort of sitting there waiting to be done. So I'm really happy about that. Again, thanks ever so much for watching, guys. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, comment down below on anything you've got to say, and um, have a great weekend. See you Monday. Cheers, guys.